I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Happy Monday. Blessings to you. Uh, nowhere other place to start, but from a place of gratitude, I want to tell you guys. I love you guys see the video now. Yeah, yep. yeah, we good. Yep. The greatest love secret you. ever told. Let's have an amazing show, and let's get into it. I'm going to reveal one of the greatest secrets never told. You guys ready? Let's go. But first, disclaimer. Please do not copy, remix, reproduce any of my material without express written permission or legal action will be taken. So um, I'm for us winning. Take the picks, hold them for long term, but don't remix the material that you see presented here tonight or any other production going forward or previously. Thank you. Uh, subscribe to YouTube and join RedPanda.com. This is what we will do trading after dark. And once in a while, I'll release a couple of uh, extra gems for you guys there. Stock Club. <clears throat> so if you want to know the, bless, the best place to get into the market, the four best stocks for your retirement, the four best dividend stocks, you want additional entries from the algorithm Athena that I created, the best growth stocks to invest in, two, two best places where to get in, 28 bonus picks on a year, and a 10-minute daily chat with us at 9 p.m. Central, which is never 10 minutes. Uh, shout out to everybody in Stock Club. Tell them how long we normally talk when we are in, in the call. In chat, please. <laughs> um, and last Friday's call was fire. You can join us at joinredpanda.com. Um, so, Crypto Club and uh, with the Dream Team. A couple months ago, Kayla came on and told you guys about Cardano when the world was not talking about it. So, if you guys want to join the Crypto Club, you can go to joinredpanda.com or click the link in my bio. Um, I know some of you guys had issues signing up this weekend. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the time when you can get in. And we're going to switch all of the memberships over to annual so that there will be no monthly payment. So if you want the five best uh, cryptocurrencies to invest in, the three best prices of where to get in, additional entries from the algorithm Athena, private telegram channel, bonus call with me and the dream team. We give three bonuses away every month. It'll really be more. And three bonus surprise picks on the year. Uh, go to joinredpanda.com and sign up for the email list and you'll get the link there. But first, let me start from a place of giving. Write this down. I want to give you an ATM setup for the S&P 500 future. So I gave it away before and it's been working well. If the ATM has been working well for you, please put yes in chat. So let's say if you're trading 15 contracts and you go for 16 ticks on ES, um, that's a $3,000 win. You want your stop loss to also be 16 ticks. And once you get up 12 ticks, you want to lock in four manually and walk away. So I want to start from a place of giving so you guys can win. This past uh, last week, uh, U.S. employers added 266,000 uh, to payroll when 1 million were expected. And it was one of the worst job reports in 23 years. Now, this is the interesting part. <clears throat> With all that bad economic data, we're seeing now the city is launching a crypto service. Did you guys see this? Put yes in chat if you did and no if you didn't. And the big boys, the big kahunas. Uh, kudos to Mike, um, who was on the show a couple weeks ago. One of the legacy traders there. Um, quiz for you really quick. Who are the top 10 traders to come out of Goldman? Goldman is kind of like the Harvard for investors. One of them runs a fund called Appaloosa. Um, but tell me the top 10 traders there that came out of Goldman. But they are now launching a crypto desk and they're really starting the cryptocurrency trading era. And here's what makes this really interesting. I want you to go, go to Google real quick and tell me what is the win rate of Goldman Sachs's trading desk. So for those of you who say, hey, I want to trade. I want to speculate. I want to put money into the market without a strategy, without any conviction, without any competitive advantage or edge. Look what you're facing and look what you're up against. Goldman Sachs traders made more than $100 million in 14 separate days amid the first quarter's fierce volatility in 2020. For those of you who don't know what that means, 2020 last year was tough, especially the first quarter. Goldman Sachs traders made $100 million on 14 separate occasions. Kudos to their CEO Team 6 and that amazing trading pod that they have there. So when I tell you guys that you're competing against the best, the brightest, those who have built some of the greatest algorithms, and here's the crazy part. This is their human team. 
this does not include algorithms this includes just solely the trading desk of people who are legendary there so normally they have a 93 percent win rate on the year which is insane an 85 percent win ratio during the pandemic so when anyone says they want to trade trading has considerable risk please consult your advisor if you're not disciplined please do not do so trading is not for you but for those of you who say hey man i want to trade okay uh, we talked about it last week i am not your competition and neither is anyone that you see here but you have to look at it like this what are the best in the world doing do you have an edge against the best players in the world if you are a trader the number one thing you have to think of is the top five players in the space what can you do that they are not able to do and if they have a 93 percent win rate it's going to be tough but you have to find your edge 85 percent during the pandemic and i know everyone says hey trading during the pandemic was easy it was not build your edge first around the best in the world and then everything else will work itself out and mike gave you what the risk parameters were so if you have not listened to the episode please go do so now here's the thing that i want to dive into mm. for months i've been telling you guys that they are going to come and try and destroy kathy and her fund because she pulled the curtain back and revealed that seven to twelve percent was more than possible and long-term investing after almost a half century or 70 years of saying that that is the baseline. Now, of course, when you average everything out, 7 to 12% is the average for the S&P 500 and all indexes, right? But for those of us that have traded or even invested on our own, we've been able to see that you can get more than that if you have great entries, great patience. Uh, you can do a little bit of basic kindergarten math and you are able to wait for your spots. So Bitcoin and Tesla being in per her portfolio was one of our primary strategies. You guys can go look at the clip on CNBC. When she gave her price prediction for what CNBC was gonna, excuse me, what Tesla was gonna go a few years ago on CNBC, some of the media personalities laughed her out of the room. And please write this down. Whenever someone has an idea or a thesis or a model of an astronomical gain, even though you may not believe that it's possible because you are projecting your limited beliefs on someone else, please always listen because they may be onto something that you're not. And I know I spelled assassination wrong. Um, so they laughed out of the room. And then after those incredible gains became true last year, a lot of the industry began to feel threatened. So I'm going to ask you this. What if not only because Bitcoin is the digital gold and Ethereum and of course, like Bitcoin is kind of like the Dow and Ethereum is like the S&P 500. You can say maybe Ripple or Litecoin is like the Russell 2000. But what if the reason that all of these cryptos are all of a sudden taken off these years and we have all this institutional backing, even though when Jamie Dimon first talked about Bitcoin in 2016, he said he didn't like it. But the European desk began investing in it. And then all of a sudden she comes out and knocks it out of the park what if all of these cryptocurrencies as a seventh best reason to invest of them best excuse me invest in them came about to destroy her fund i told you guys there's surface level thinking that you have to address and then there's different layers and deeper layers to the game so if i have a competitive advantage and I'll say, I'm going to invest in this car company and I'm also going to invest in this Chinese asset and pair them together to get exponential rates in comparison to my competition. And even though most people in 2020 did have a good year after fees, they could have been better if they had used her strategy. So now fund managers all around are saying, hey, you can produce higher alpha with less work if you invest in cryptocurrencies and let's take her head off. So now everyone is having a desk around crypto. So once you look past the surface area, and I always told you guys, same thing with marijuana, there's no need to rush to put your money into it until there's institutional backing heavily. Now there's heavy institutional backing for crypto. I'm telling you, one of the reasons that crypto is taking off like this and taking off like crazy is to destroy her. You notice not as many people are talking about her as much arc funds are not doing as well and that's why i always tell you guys 
you have to have your own thesis for how you're going to invest and how you're going to have an edge you just can't copy off of everyone's paper we have to end the intellectual incest go do your own research